Hello and welcome. My name is Sharon and this is Trio, which is Tarot. This is an unboxing of one of my unicorns that I was able to get a hold of for not an insane amount of money. And I really want to thank the person who sold this to me. So, I'm going to keep you in suspense. And I think you can see already what it is. Spirit Keepers. Put a nice little note in here, it looks like. Oh, it comes with a... Oh, it said like a refrigerator magnet. Okay, I believe this is all of the uh, Kickstarter stuff. So, I'm going to open all this and I'm sure I'm going to speed it up in post edit. This winter, I will be doing a lot of in-depth study of decks. That's my plan anyway. So uh, I think she told me what kind of stone this is, but I don't recall. That is very cool. Let's look at the book of maps for a second. Because I may just do like a card by card study and post them. This is crazy. This is like a... You know, the Robert M. Place book was just so much information. The I Ching, or is it I Ching? I think it's I Ching. Um, wow. Okay. I am looking forward, I'm almost looking forward to winter now. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, let's look at these cards. Oh, I... I can't believe I even have this. I thought I would never would. And I'm not gonna do a full walkthrough, that's cool on the back, because there are other full walkthroughs and I think I will probably be doing a perfect pairs video anyway. So, and this is a card. Um, and then it comes with a little white book. So that's very cool. Very cool. Certificate of Authenticity. And, okay, they are gilded. Really, really nice cards. This is quality, quality, quality. There's three zeros. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And then the magician and the priestess. No, oh, it's just so amazing. And the dragonfly there is beautiful. I am beyond words. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to go through this whole thing now. I am going, since this was one of my unicorns, and I have a couple other unicorns, I think I'm just going to turn this into a unicorn deck collection video. Okay, and this one, if you had seen my um, Celtic Pagan Halloween-ish video, um, you would have seen this deck. So it's the Celtic Oracle, and it's, those are the backs, so they're really pretty. It's kind of like an OM deck, but it's, and I don't really do OMs, and also feels very Arthurian, so they're kind of thrown in together. And this has been out of print for a long time, the unicorn, and um, I saw someone's video, the only video I ever saw, I could find on this deck. And then I found it on eBay and it's very few cards and 
It was, um, it was, I think it was the most I ever spent on a deck at the time. Wild Hunt. So, um, I haven't really worked enough with this yet to say a whole lot about it. Other than it, um, it's just very cool. So that is the Celtic Orb. And the next one is the Botan Tarot, which I actually bought. Um, so I haven't been doing tarot for very long, and I bought this kind of at the beginning of my journey, and it was just, you know, available. <laughs> so, but now it's out of print, and it is a unicorn. And you can get the zine, which has full color pictures in it. So, I don't know, maybe that, it's not all the cards, but that could, like, maybe satisfy you a little bit. And it's cheap. It's like, it's like ridiculous, like like five dollars or something. And then this is a Botan Tarot, which I'm sure you've seen a ton. I glued the ribbon on so that you don't have to deal that because that ribbon is not great. So the little white book is not very helpful. Has just some keywords for each card. And it's there. I think there's one edged in gold, which would be my unicorn, but I. I have this deck and I'm not going to spend a shit ton of money to get different edging. I like the blue and the gold would probably chip like gold does. And you've probably seen Botantero in the backs. Or the most beautiful backs of any deck I have, I think. And that's, you know, there's lots of walkthroughs. I have this in one of my collection, in at least one of my collection videos. So that is the Botan Tarot. And the next one is the Ethereal Visions Luna Edition, which I, there's some controversy around this. I think the Kickstarter was not awesome. I didn't get it at the Kickstarter. That kick, that Kickstarter happened before I knew about Kickstarter. Um, bought it. On his website as soon as it was available. It comes with a little book and it's not my favorite cardstock. It's thin and it feels like you know you could bend it and ruin it um, but it, it does shuffle well and it's gilded and you saw the backs and so there's the regular through the visions which is readily available wherever you buy your decks, I'm sure. And it has the gold and it's not as diverse as far as skin color or age maybe, but it is very, very similar to this. So you could, I think it's even the same cardstock. So you could get that. And if you like this style, you could perhaps, I love her. Um, you can perhaps be Know, your thirst for this quenched if this is really what you want. And um, the next one is the Healing Waves Tarot, which I got in a trade. And I thank the person that traded with me very much. I feel it was an equitable trade. So there's the certificate. Um, they are, you know, this deck goes for a stupid amount of money. And I was lucky to get it in a trade. You, you just have to kind of troll Instagram and troll um, all the Facebook tarot groups and stuff comes up and you know sometimes in the middle of the night when I can't sleep and I go on there I'm like oh my god someone's selling what I want and it's not stupid money so yeah I apologize for torturing you with this deck if this is one of your unicorns um, you know, there are other decks that kind of satisfy the quench for an ocean deck, if that's what you really want. There's the Ocean Tarot and, you know, Dame Darcy Mermaid and, um, oh, Wisdom of the Depths or something. And then I think there's another one even. There's the Tempest. I'll provide links below for the other ones in case, you know, you want to do that. So 
So another unicorn is the Darkness of Light. So I bought it secondhand from someone. It um, came with a bag and not a box. And the guide is a um, PDF and I think it's just free off the um, Darkness of Light website. Um, this is the As Is edition. So what happened with the As Is edition is that between the minors and the majors, the, if you can see it, the borders are a little off. I mean, I don't care at all. <laughs> and I wanted the white borders. So I was happy to get the As Is edition. I do not need another edition of this deck. It, um, I just love it. I think it's beautiful and you know, got the Italian titles on it, which is awesome. It's an awesome death card. So, um, different versions of Darkness of Light go up for sale. Um, so, you know, if you see it, be aware of, you know, counterfeits. If you see it somewhere and it's for sale and it's cheap, well, you know, it's on you. If you, like, don't care and you're willing to buy a counterfeit, then that's on you. But, um, do your research. So that's the Darkness of Light. And the next one is Blood Moon. And, um, this one goes up for sale more often and it's really reasonably priced. Um, my husband bought it brand new from the Creator as a Christmas gift to me. So there's a, uh, you know, thank you and this, and I guess there wasn't, I thought there was a sign of something, but I guess that was a different one. Anyway, I also have the art book, not showing it now, but I think I showed it in another video. But now that it's out of print, you know, it's a little harder to get. And um, so what, I guess technically this is a, unicorn out of print hard to find video because I this was not a unicorn for me because I bought it I got it new from the creator as a gift from my husband so I don't know is this a FOMO video <laughs> I'm trying I'm not trying to to create FOMO but I am I guess I want you to know that decks come up for sale and there's a lot of people who are reasonable about it and not trying to price gouge and not you know trying to get you know buying it and then waiting and then trying to get insane money for it they're just getting you know maybe a little more or maybe just what they paid and plus shipping so do not despair okay my next one is the connected and free oracle you can get this in French now. Um, and there isn't a lot of text for each card, so this wouldn't be that bad to <clears throat> use your phone and Google Translate or, you know, translate it and print it out. Um, I got this second hand. So this was, this was a unicorn, not just a hard to find. And this does come up for sale once in a while. It has these chakra cards. And um, I'm just going to go through some of the cards really fast. So this is by Inner Hue, and they also have the Lumina Tarot, which you can get. I'm not sure if it's mass market now, but you can pre-order it on Amazon anyway. I saw that. Um, you can get that this in French right now, and you can get um, the Lumina Tarot in French right now. I'm pretty sure right now. Um, you know, if you just go to Amazon.fr, you'll have the cards and the, you know, the words will be in French, but, you know, you could either, like, white it out and then put the English word, depending, or, um, you know, black it out in this instance and use it like a white gel pen. If you really wanted to, you know, I have decks with, that have French on them and I just kind of learn what, what's that word mean as long as it isn't too much. 
So that was connected and free. So the next one is the Lost Forest Tarot. And I don't know what edition this is. I mean, there's the two there and there was the two in the box. I don't know if that's, you know, part of the design or if that actually means this is like the second edition. Um, yeah, I, Kelly at Truth and Story has done a video on this and, and she did, I don't know. I will link any information that makes sense. Yes, second edition right there. Um, it has a couple extra cards. It doesn't really come with a guide. It comes with the kind of this fold out thing. Um, like that. Uh, okay, so this, you know, I bought this second hand and it wasn't stupid expensive. It is out of print. So, um, you know, if it's something you really, really want. It does the whole panoramic thing with the minors and I think even the majors and um, kind of tells a story like the Prisma Visions and Cosma Visions and Light Visions all do. Um, this is another panoramic deck. I think I should do a different video on my panoramic decks. So watch out for that and then I will show the panoramas in that one. So that is the Lost Forest. Yeah, the next one is Yokayochi. So the guidebook, just little words in it, but I, um, because I have the Kamiya Yukai um, deck, which is an oracle, I've done a lot of research on the Yokai and I just have to add a few more to have like a comprehensive Kamiya Yokai Yochi's guidebook. This guidebook tells you what the god, so it's, yeah, I, th I can't remember. I think um, the kami are the, like the spirits or ghosts and the um, yokai, yeah, I can't remember. One of them means gods and one of them means like spirits and ghosts. And there might be even more words for, you know, like, because some of them aren't really ghosts. Some of them are like, you know, like uh, Kitsune, which is just a kind of like a, a fox, but there's a hierarchy of the magical powers that they have. And then when you see the nine-tailed one, it's like the highest level or something. Anyway, that is Yokayochi. This is a Robert M. Place deck, and it is the Angel Tarot. Um, I still some I have the the vampires one as a unicorn, but then every time I see it, I'm like, I, I, I don't know how I would use that as a tarot. So keep it in this box because it does not have a box of its own. And the cardstock is crap. I found this via um, the alley the Alleman group, this Facebook group, and someone posted that they were thinking about breaking this up for creating magpie decks. And I contacted them and I said, um, this is one of my unicorns. So I really love Robert M. Place. So anyway, we, we chatted and worked it out and worked out a price. And now I have it. And it has this permanent bow. I have done so many things to try to get it out and it just wants to be this way. So it's like super pippish deck. Um, but I don't know, am I being a completionist? I don't want the Saints one and I I don't think I want the Vampire one. If I saw it for like what I thought was a reasonable price, how, you know, at the time if I felt, oh, I, can't, I can spend that much on it, then I would, but it just goes for a lot of money. Maybe someday, maybe someday I'll have the Vampire one. I don't know, am I talking myself back into the vampire one? I mean, you're looking at the pips and they're boring as hell. Um, so it's all angels. Archangels, seraphim, all the hierarchies of the angels. The Rumi Tarot by Nigel Jackson. Um, I have his Secret of the Rose and I don't have the original Nigel Jackson Tarot. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, Rumi Tarot. 
eight. I do not have the English version, but I'm getting good at translating things because I keep buying French decks. So this is Turkish. And I found it on Amazon, you know, because there's a lot of third party sellers on there. So this is the guidebook and it is in Turkish. And thank God for Google Translate. Although again, some of the words are weird. Um, when I was trying to translate a French recipe once, it um, told me to use a diving robot, which I figured out meant as um, submersible blender. <laughs> you know, and those wands. Anyway, so now we just call it the diving robot because that's funny. The cardstock is not awesome at all. And the, you know, this is like, hate it. I may, depending on how I feel, I may just put um, the clear contact paper like I have on another deck. Anyway, so yeah, everything's in Turkish and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I might, there's enough space for the most part to write, except for like on this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Something because this is very foreign language to me. Maybe it's an opportunity to learn it. Um, it's the same as the Secrets of the Rose Tarot where they have, you know, they're very pippish when they have these little inset medallions with some little scenic thing that's a clue so you're not like just left out there in the cold trying to figure out what is the Four of Swords if it's just Four Swords and nothing else. Um, like Marseille, which I... I have some and I try to read with them, but I have to like look it up. I do not have that memorized. So you can find the Turkish version and not for a stupid amount of money. The Stunning Tarot second, I think. And it's the like the bridge size one. Um, I'd like to get another edition of it, you know, bigger one, but I like this pocket one. And um, I don't know if there's ever going to be other editions. You know, every edition so far has sold out. And they all seem to be quite different, which is interesting. I mean, even in size, these backs are cool. Um, it has mermaid. So there you go. So the Stunning Tarot is very different. I, I It just came. Like, I just got several... Um, unicorns all at once. I don't know. Is it the economy? People selling stuff? That's unfortunate if they're... Hopefully people aren't having to sell their use their using version and they had like backups that they're selling. Um, another mermaid. So yeah, that's the Stunning Tarot, whatever edition I have. This is the Curious Travels Tarot deck. So this was a unicorn for me for a long time and then um, the artist came out with a last printing of her indie version before U.S. Games prints it. And I do not like U.S. Games cardstock, but if it comes with a guidebook and the guidebook is decent, I will buy it just for the guidebook because I'm doing that with the Earthly Souls and Spirits. I already have the cards, but there is no guidebook. It's just a pamphlet. Um, and this is on the most wonderful... This is what rose petal should be. It's like this soft petal. It's like satin. It's, it's wonderful. And you can riffle shuffle it. So there we go. It does riffle shuffle. And it has the it has gold accents so it's like it's not like um Baba Studios, but it's like metallic, almost like metallic Sharpie or something. And who knows if that'll be in the U.S. Games edition or what changes they'll make. So I was glad to get this. If you are watching this you in early enough, like not way in the future, um, you may still be able to get it if you care to. It's not cheap at all. Um, especially for a deck without a guidebook, it's kind of expensive. But I hope she's, she's using the money to go to college. So there's that. 
So that is my unicorn deck collection to date. Remember to like and subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I have new videos up if you are enjoying my videos. And I really appreciate you watching. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. And bye. Well, it's time for another giveaway. And this time it is um, not a deck I don't jive with, but a deck that um, it was almost cheaper to buy two copies and not pay for shipping than it was to buy one copy and pay for shipping. So I thought, well, I'll just pay the little bit extra money. I'll get a second copy and I will put it up in a giveaway. So as you saw, it's called Womanhood Revisited. And if you want to enter the drawing for this deck, put the word womanhood in your comments. And you will be entered and you can enter in as many times as you want, but um, only once per video. So. If you put in womanhood five times on the same video, you still only get one entry for that video. This should go a little faster. And so this deck is um, collage art and um, colorizations of like old newspaper articles and stuff and other art that he found. That's such a pretty world card. Um, and I saw this on someone's Instagram, I believe it was, and it was the fool card. And I just fell in love with that fool card. And then I went out and found I think I asked that person where they got this and they um, they told me that they just got it on Etsy and it is indeed on Etsy. It's a French produced deck so it came from France and that's why the shipping was so expensive um, and that's why buying the second copy was only a little bit more because it got free shipping than if I just got one and paid for shipping. So you, whoever you are that wins this, are the recipient of a brand new deck that I just decided to buy so I could share it because I really really like this deck and I don't think people know about it and I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of this with um I'm not sure what yet something with something obviously it's all women and it I guess you could call it some of it curated art it's not really art like right? it's just a old pop culture stuff maybe you could say. I mean there isn't a whole lot of info on it and then his Facebook page is in French and at least I think it is. But I think it's a fun little deck. I'm not in love with Vax. I, I cannot think of almost anything else that would be better than these backs. I don't even understand the backs with the front but um and it's like that more kind of cheapy filling cardstock so you could probably bend it and mess it up if you weren't careful with it. So that is Womanhood Revisited and if you would like to enter to win enter the word womanhood in your comments below and always remember to like and subscribe. Thanks! Bye!